I just was really influenced by a lot of the, um, the, the a a abstract expressionist movement and stuff like that. And I'm gonna try to incorporate that with the traditional folk because I like the style of folk and, and uh, like the whole outsider movement and just people who express themselves and use art as a way to, to voice themselves. I think uh, I was diagnosed bipolar when I was about like 30. So, but previous to that, I think that's how I dealt with it, but I didn't know I was bipolar. So that was my expressions to look at everything out, like, you know, the built up feelings and stuff. And that was my voice to, to escape. Three years ago, my mom passed away. We never known her, uh, her uh, background, where she came from, her heritage. My family and I traveled back to East. We found out, we did a little researching and found out that we were have uh, about fifth generation Melungeon, which is uh, a group of people, almost like a, a tri-racial group of people that lived in the hills. They lived up there, they're shunned, and they're, uh, you know, they had their things. They're innovative with their little, like, music and stuff. Like, like this painting up there, I have uh, about a uh, bedpan banjo and stuff. They used whatever resources they had, and so I kind of, like, try to draw stuff like that from there, so. I, I mix a little bit. I'm in, inspired by, like, um, urban art and stuff like that, so I want to make it hip, not just so traditional folk. I think the ultimate inspiration for me are the, um, the unknown, the ancients, you know, the ancient, uh, the indigenous artists of South and Central America, those, those, those Indian uh, craftspeople and artists who, who did their had their purpose and created their their symbolisms, their textiles, their their ceramics, their their cities. You know all the symbols and the patterns and the, the motifs. Earlier this year, I had a show with Julie Baker, who who represents me in, in Nevada, Nevada City. Um, I had a, a one-person show there. And then I had a show in Santa Fe at a gallery called Victoria Price Gallery. Um, then I recently just took down a show here locally in Folsom, California at Pacific Western Traders. It's a Native American uh, gallery trading post, very, very cool place. So to me, it's, it's kind of like a, an evolutionary stage where, you know, you, you study figurative, you know, and you do a certain amount of that. And if, if that's not your thing, then you move on. And um, I have done that. In my personal opinion as an artist, I find a, a quality in taking a certain uh, message, uh, art form or whatever your, your, your message is that you're trying to portray with your art and um, kind of doing it in your own language. Currently we have Char Hall. Uh, we have Mark Fox, Cinder, we have Ben Polson, and CeCe Kwan are the artists that we've selected currently for our studio. We're, we're looking forward to kind of working with these other artists in more of a um, focusing capacity. It's going to give us a chance to get to know Mark a lot better. He's very quiet, and so sometimes when you just see him at the galleries, it's just real quick, hey, how's it going? Okay, bye. Um, Cinder is always fun. He's a great guy to hang out and chat with and, and get to know. And I'd like to see Cece hasn't been doing much painting because of school, so I'm really looking forward to watching her push herself in these last few weeks to really get her artwork done. I believe in all the work these guys are doing. All, all of us are very different. We have completely different styles. But there's something about them and their art that really speak to us. I think it would be great for SciShow Studios. There's amazing artists like Shar and all the people that they carry through. And I like how they're like bringing in different people and trying to expose people and they're really fair about stuff. Well, we kind of are a family. I mean, we spend so much time together and Shar and I are always kind of here at the helm that sometimes we do call them the kids, even though maybe sometimes they're older than us or younger than us. Um, but they are, they are learning and we're in a teaching position, which kind of does lend itself to us being the moms. 
You know, I used to tell students when I would, would uh, talk to them, teach them art, you can teach, you can teach technique, you can teach uh, people how to use a toolbox full of tools and how, to, how they can develop textures and shading, all the, all the general things of art. And then they're on their own. That's, that's when they have to do their thing.